these guys at CVF are super cool. Um, I waited for five weeks for Holly to send me their mid-mount kit, and they still don't even have a ship date on them. So, um, earlier this week, today's Thursday, I reached out to them and said, you know, hey, you guys have these kits ready to go, because um, I'm just going to order it from you. They're made in USA up in Minnesota. So, he's like, hey, give us a couple of days usually. Um, so, literally, in two days from when I ordered it, it was on my front porch. So, this is their uh, Raptor kit. It's an eight rib serpentine for uh, first gen small block Chevy. Comes with everything AC, uh, power steering, alternator, water pump. Um, the stuff's chromed, and uh, the bracketry is their C3 uh, ceramic coat. Um, stuff's good to like a thousand degrees and won't turn so should be pretty awesome i'm excited to see it so let's do an unboxing um, before we work on the install inbox first thing in here I'm guessing this is the main bracket fantastic I, mean, I guess it's coated you can't tell by looking at it but it's certainly shiny so with their part number on it as well but the finish is great with that piece standard GM type tensioner. Nice seal bearing in there. And in there a cover. Just pretty. Looks great. The gates, eight rib belt. That there. ah, there's a lot of boxes. A lot of boxes in here. So this could take some time. May just go ahead and sort of skip forward uh, and then just kind of have everything on the table. All right, so we emptied the boxes, get everything here on the table. And that looks amazing. So, um, looks like a GM long water pump. Um, has gaskets, also the pipe fittings for where you want to run your heater hose or heater return. Um, let's see, this is the kind of a universal billet head for that and then all the stuff has a nice cap. Everything's super high quality and uh, again this kit is the ceramic coat or the Cerakote they call it, the C3 version. Uh, this is a really nice piece. This is what's commonly known as the landing pad. Um, it goes on your AC compressor that you put your high and low pressure lines to. Um, the compressor is uh, peanut style chrome. Um, that's a shorty so doesn't stick out too far off the front of the engine block, which allows you to still run um, a mechanical fan if you so desired. Um, of course, electric fans usually leave plenty of room. Again, really nice, um, just a compressor clutch cover. I like that, it's nice. Um, here's the tensioner. Again, it reminds me of the old Delco style. Um, that bolt on, really nice. And then this is a really hefty uh, billet cover. They've done a good job of branding too, by the way. So that'll look nice. Eight rib uh, belt, which is made by Gates. And there's the small block Chevy hub uh, for come off of your balancer. And then here's their pulley for that. And again, the little center cap I have just laying on it for now. And the, this is the Chevy Type 2 power steering pump. This one's been chromed, uh, again, because of the kit that we ordered. 
you can order, and of course here's the pulley. You can order this from them with the reservoir attached or remote, or actually you can order it without uh, if you're building a race car. So the guys at CVF highly recommended using the remote mount reservoir, which is a really nice piece of billet uh, aluminum and then their cap. And then here's the lower portion to run your in and out fittings. There's actually a tube that goes in here as well. And it comes with this mount. Again, really nice billet piece, uh, great finish. Um, and it looks like it has some two-sided uh, foam tape in there just to keep that thing from sliding out. Um, and sort of a buffer instead of just having metal on metal, which I like that. It's really nice. I appreciated the guy's expertise. Uh, they said a lot of times they end up getting exchanges on the power steering pump when people want the one that's mounted to it. And there's just not a lot of room to run your hoses. Um, this is a later model. This is a 160 amp GM alternator in chrome. Uh, it's considered a one wire even though you have these connectors here. Uh, but you don't have to use them. Uh, and I won't in this situation but um, typically you have like a charge feed. Uh, one that runs from here over to the charge post. And then you'll have an incoming ignition wire um, which I think tells it that you're looking for a charge. Or uh, and then maybe one that goes out to turn on your uh, amperage light if you're having a problem. But these are internally uh, excited, aka regulated. So really just run this one to your battery or the common post on your starter. And then ground the case, which they've even included this nice little tab here. Uh, since the mount bracket is billet aluminum, you're not going to get a good ground where it mounts. So you, I'll run a ground wire here to the front of the head. It probably won't show. It'll look really nice. I'll have to change this out. Uh, comes with the V-belt pulley installed, and uh, this is probably the. This is, looks to me like the old school steel fans, just been chromed, and then they send this universal billet fan to install behind the eight rib pulley that'll need to be installed on the alternator, and then here's this nice cap, and there's a idler pulley cap. These are nice sealed bearings by the way. Everything even, oh, says China. But at least we got the kit. Alright, we didn't have to wait. Oh, this is the alternator wiring that came with my Speedway Motors 22 circuit universal wiring harness. Um, again, this one would just loop from the connection on the alternator back to the charge pole and then one from your ignition system. But we're just going to leave all that out. It's going to be nice and clean. Uh, before we leave the table, there's uh, a lot of hardware and spacers that come in here. But it looks like they've pretty much sent us everything we need um, to put this bad boy together. I can't think of anything else at this point. Very comprehensive kit. All the machine work looks great. The finish turned out really well on everything. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see how that turns out. This truck has been waiting for quite some time to fire up but now that we have what we need to put here it should be awesome so this is that one wire that's ran um, off of that post of the alternator I've just kind of had it laying here waiting to lay nice right there and then go to the alternator on the driver's side um, down here's where they're talking about not having a lot of space um, for that power steering pump and to have the the lines from the reservoir over to the gearbox so it's nice that we'll have that remote mount. We'll probably bolt it on the back side of the radiator support. Um, just clean things up nice, which is what we've been trying to do on this build. So yeah, the next thing we're gonna do is start installing it. Um, we still lack um, running that temp sensor to the Envision dash, which if you missed that video, um, Click on the subscribe link at the end of the video and you can find those two about installing the um, auto meter Envision uh, LCD dash kit. And then I have to change the oil pressure switches on the back of the engine and run those wires through the firewall to that dash. So stay tuned. This will be part one of two on the video series. Uh, actually, probably will take three videos to get this all done because I really don't want a 40 minute video. Um, but the good news is at the end of this, we'll have an engine startup. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.